That's salsa fresca medium, and that's salsa fresca, so we get both of those pinatas they have. Look at that. Look, is that Bernie? We're gonna have a little taste test of their breakfast burritos. Oh, yes. It was like five bucks. Look at that. Boom, shock a lot. What's up, Elliot family of seven, seven plus the fire squad? Make sure you all like and subscribe, but why? Why? Because we're coming with that fire content every, every single, single day. day. Babe, you just kissed your necklace. What is, what? what's going on? Today, y'all, I don't know when this video is coming out. It is my mother's one year anniversary um, since she passed away. We're gonna just do like, kind of like a deli sandwich veggie fruit trays shopping this morning to get all the things together to get ready for everybody to come this evening we're here at food city y'all uh. whoa that one that one was hanging upside down get up in here oh i like how they have the sanitizer here oh babe look they got green chilies in here look at this oh my gosh they all roasted this is where you come to get official mexican tortillas look at the shells Good. And then I always wanted to try that too. That's a, like a dessert. Mm. And then we always buy these when we come to Food City. The doodles. They're so good. This is like an amazing snack. And they give you a huge bag for $3.38. Look at these nice tostada shells. Look how thin and crispy they look, babe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's get some of those. We got to do a Taco Tuesday, huh? That's coming up. Yeah. Oh, Dos Ranchitos makes wheat. Yeah. One ninety nine. I, I love their regular ones, so I, I bet the wheat's good too. These are bomb. Their tortilla chips here are bomb. It's official room. Yeah, so we're getting some salsa, and they make it here in house. Let's see. That salsa is three ninety. It's not cheap because it's good, huh? <laughs> Look at their refried beans in this pack. You know these are good. Salsa fresca medium, and that's salsa fresca, so we get both of those. One small, one big. Whoa, it's leaking. Oh, Lord, baby. We'll get a, a guac, too. 458. What is that? Oh, that's sopas. Sopa. Yeah. Ooh. Look at that. Fishing right there. And we can get refried beans for a dip with the tortilla chips. They have hatched cornbread. Look at that up there. The symbol. Hey, Money wants a breakfast burrito. I love their breakfast burritos here. It comes with the jalapeno and onions. And then I'm gonna try this hatch chili cornbread. And then we have our potatoes, our celery, some more tortilla chips. Hey, Money loves this brand of class, the Jamaica. So we're gonna get three of these, y'all. They're 188. And we love these. And also we're gonna get two of the limons today for our get together. And then K Money got some tomatoes. What are you doing with the tomatoes? Putting it on our sandwiches. Okay, cool. Because we're making homemade. Well, we're making like the deli sub sandwiches and then we're making chicken salad croissant sandwiches. Ooh, wee, that's going to be good. Look at the tomatillos, y'all. This is how you make chili verde. You use this. That's one of the things you need. They're 88 cents a pound. Then you got some pasilla peppers, the chili. But those are $1.29. Look at all these good veggies. Boy. Oh, look at that. The cactus. Yeah. Nepal. Look at all the pinatas they have. Look at that. Look, is that Barney? Oh, look. $14.99 for their pinatas. They even had the dos equis. You got some, is that cabbage or lettuce? Okay. Uh, we're doing a real haul in Food City. Yeah. And they have more pinatas there. Those are $21.99 because they're bigger. Look at that. I've never seen these sun-dried tomato halves. What? That's tight. Oh, the red seedless grapes only 79 cents a pound. It's a good deal. Even the green ones are 79 cents a pound. Yeah, those look good. Go ahead and check out. What's everything? So it's 43.24. You wanna know why I love going to Food City? Why? Because of the amazing vegetables are so fresh. Did you see all the selection? I know you can go to yeah. Walmart, but trust me, when you eat the ones from Food City, they get it straight from Mexico, from the farms. We're gonna have a little taste test of their Breakfast burrito. burrito. This is bacon and eggs. Leaking. Yeah, it's leaking. Because there's an onion in there. Did you say onion? Mm-hmm. It's cebollas. Cebollas. 
Ugh, smells like onion. Well, hopefully there's some queso in there. Ain't no queso in a breakfast burrito. Why wouldn't there be cheese in a breakfast burrito, y'all? Come oh on now. Oh my god, you guys, it is it, so oh hot. <laughs> and it's huge. How much did it's it cost? Hot. This? It was like five bucks. Look at that. Boom, shock a lock. Here's my face. Here's How can you hold it? It's hot. It's hot. Y'all. Mind you, we got that like 15 minutes ago. Do y'all have a Latin American door where you're located? Look at this jalapeno. I'm I know sorry. you're not. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's not the spicy one. Some fresh salsa, and this is like uh, guacamole salsa type deal. All right, are you gonna do the first bite, or should I just get into it? Just go ahead and get into it. Was the thing hot, first of all? Mm -hmm. The the pepper? Mm-mm. Mm. I want it with some salsa. Mm. Mm. We have not eaten today. Honestly, mm. I love breakfast burritos, but I'm more of a bean and cheese or chicken burrito person. Comment down below Ooh. your favorite Mexican food. Let us know. Yeah, I will say they definitely don't shortchange on bacon. Because there's That's more bacon than say. egg in here. Look at that. He must have put a half pack of bacon. I'm not even joking. In one burrito. That's a lot of bacon. Mm, a lot of bacon. And, and the cool thing is they make this all in-house. Was this hot? Mm-mm. Obviously too hot it's to for you. Seeds, so. Yeah. Not that it's hot. It's just that like um mm -hmm. roast taste to it. And to me, I with roast it needs to be seasoned. They are not cheap on that bacon. At all. Why didn't you get sausage? What made you want to get bacon? Oh, they didn't have sausage here. Oh. Um, yeah, they had chorizo and eggs. They had eggs oh. and potato. And then they had the bacon and eggs. Uh, my first time trying chorizo and eggs was when I came to Arizona, of course because they didn't really sell it in, in Virginia where I'm from. Mm -hmm. But they do sell something called Scrapple. Do y'all know what Scrapple is? It's I didn't know what it was until you told me. It's chorizo without the Mexican seasoning. It's mm -hmm. literally the same mixture. That's what Scrapple is. It's everything in the pig you don't sell. And I guarantee you that's what chorizo is. Mm -hmm. It's soft, mushy. Even when you cook it, it's soft and mushy. I used to eat cuts of it straight. Just everything from the pig, from the ruta to the tuna. I'm trying to eat right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love chorizo. But oh, don't tell me what's in it. Ah, the ruta to the tuna. I don't need to know that. Mm -mm. I'm sure you ate some things in your life that if you know what it really came from, you would not want to eat it anymore. Uh, I think hot dogs is one of them. Right. I do not want to hear about it. I don't want to know about it. I just, I like hot dogs. Could I live without a hot dog? Of course. I couldn't. You couldn't? Mm -mm. Y'all, I think, like, I seriously feel like I need to go home and cut some of this up with some more eggs. Literally. Literally. We can, we can make a whole breakfast with the amount of bacon left in here. We add more egg, everybody's gonna get some bacon. Seriously, all we gotta do is dump this in the pan <laughs> with some eggs. And when you go to like restaurants, they give you like two to three strips. Nah, <laughs> less than that. This is like a whole pack. They give you one strip broken into little pieces. <laughs> mm -hmm. They thought K Money was so beautiful, they just gave her all the bacon. No. <laughs> Everywhere we go, K Money gets stuff for free. What? Yeah. Why is that? I mean, when we go somewhere, they're like, hmm, don't worry about your groceries. I'm like, her husband's right here. He lying. The man behind us is like, hey, I got your groceries. I don't get offended, you know? Because I know how beautiful she is. Thank you. I know I cannot take you nowhere without getting been staring at you. But it's okay. If you look good, I look good. So keep looking good, boo. <laughs> And if you look good, I look good. <laughs> hey, that's why I like to wear holy shirts. What? Huh? Give me my burrito bag. <laughs> I, you take it to take I, that bite. I had the gastric sleeve, so I think I'm done eating. I think I'm getting a, this last it's, bite and then I'm done. Because it's so much meat, it fills you up. I bet somebody watching right now is like, I'll take it. <laughs> and to me, bacon can be salty. 
But this one, well, it's, it's salty. Little, yeah. <laughs> it's salty. Right. So I don't really like salt like that. I like seasoning salt. Oh mm. my gosh. Y'all, please tell K Money that seasoning salt and salt is the same thing. It's just seasoning salt has other things mixed with it. Well, I need the other same things sodium. mixed with it. Same sodium and everything, babe. I need the other stuff mixed with it. But salt, just with salt? No, ma'am. No, sir. Not today. Not it. What club are y'all? Regular salt or seasoning salt? I got a feeling it's going to be a lot of seasoning salt. Yeah. I'm seasoning salt. I Honestly, if I'm cooking stuff, I will not use regular salt. On occasions, I'll do like a splash of pink Himalayan salt. I love pink salt. I love yes. pink salt. It's not overpowering. Right. It's just right. It's like that hint. Even if you put a little extra, it's not too much. It's, not at why all. Why is pink salt not too salty? I don't know. It, it gives you that just the extra oomph, but not over the top. You know what I heard? Pink salt is good for your mood. Hmm? I don't know if consuming it does it, but if you have one of them pink salt rocks in your house, mm -hmm. the lamp ones, it helps with your mood or something it does. Isn't that weird? That's weird. I, I <laughs> haven't, I've never heard of it, but I've seen it like in movies. What, the pink salt? No. Yeah, the pink salt or the rock or whatever it is. Yeah. I've seen that. It's supposed to be like good energy or good something energy like that. Or something. I, don't I don't know. know. I don't know. But and, yeah. And also, are you soft bacon or hard bacon fan? I like hard bacon. You like it crunchy. I I like this isn't crunchy. hard. It's in between. It's in between. Th that means it's doable. If it was soft, I wouldn't be able to eat. That. If I don't, yeah, no soft bacon. Nope. If I, I don't eat, want it like burnt, burnt, but I like it burnt, burnt. You do. If it don't taste like char, I'm not eating it. Aaliyah likes it. She does. Aaliyah, she she's just like daddy. She likes to overdo it. She sure does. What do you rate this breakfast burrito, bacon, and egg burrito from Food City? I rate this. Okay, if you're new to the channel, let's get that straight. We rate things at bomb.com, bomb.org, bomb.net, bomb.gov, or bomb.everything. I'm going to go ahead and rate this breakfast burrito at bomb.com, bomb.org, bomb.net, and almost a bomb.gov. Almost. I'm going to rate it at bomb.com, bomb.org, bomb.net, and a bomb.gov. It's almost perfect. Well, nothing's perfect. Yeah. It is really good. Honestly, the only thing keeping it from being a bomb.everything is if this bacon was crispier. I would say forget it, gastric sleeve. You're going to have to stretch today, and it's going to have to come up. Yeah. Because some food, I cannot stop eating sometimes. I notice that about myself. Mm -hmm. If it's too good, I no, know no. I should take two or three bites, and I'll just overeat and eat like six bites and then throw up. I don't like that. And then sometimes I have to force myself to take like little bites. Yeah, which is not good. To take little no, bites? No, forcing yourself. Yeah. I mean, I, but I guess, you know, he. this is a permanent thing for life sounds bad but just picture when you have something that you taste and it's really good and you just want to finish it he can't do that so that's basically what he means like some of the things taste so good he knows he can't eat it all but he'll eat it and the consequence it's throwing cool. it up but i've been getting better yes I've but you also it. been taking a medication that they gave you for the first year and a half you stopped taking it because they said you should be good to go. But I wasn't. <laughs> but he wasn't. And then they realized that and then recently started giving him, it's like a lining of your stomach type of medication. Inside of the pill, there's beads. If you shake you it. You can hear it. It's weird. Like you literally swallow beads and it coats your stomach. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't take it today or yesterday, by the way. And oh. Because it increases your appetite. And you're able to hold more food. So I was like, nah, I just needed it for a little bit. You didn't know that, did you? Listen, I take the exact same medication Why? from a whole different doctor. Why though? Uh, for me, it's because when you're allergic to stuff, it literally messes up your inside, your stomach, and then you also get very, very, very bad acid reflex. So it just it's crazy how they explained it to me i would have never thought an allergist would be prescribing that same medication but that deals with your stomach so that makes i don't know y'all but it's also for acid reflex oh yeah yeah it's like a what is it called 
Omeprazine. Omeprazine. Any of y'all take something. that before? Y'all see it in the store. They sell it over the counter at Costco, yeah. Walmart, Fries, Kroger, everywhere. Right. But we just have a higher dosage, like prescribed right. strength. Well, you all, I want to say popping up on the screen is a haul playlist. Go ahead and click it and binge watch us. You all stay blessed. And highly favored. Peace. Peace.